happy birthday to me. Oh, guys, I love celebrating my birthday so much. And today is going to be super awesome because even with all this craziness going on, my birthday is still happening. I've got all the decorations up and my friends are on their way. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting a text message. Uh, okay, well, some of my friends can't make it, but that's all right. I still have a... Uh, four friends. Four friends are going to be coming. I... Three friends. Three friends are still coming. One friend. One friend is still coming, and that's okay, because we're going to have... No one. No one's coming. It's my birthday. I planned all this out. I set all this up, and does anybody even care? Does God even care? That's what our Bible story is about today. A guy named Elijah, who had the same question. Does God even care about me? And I really hope he gets an answer, because I need one too. I have the perfect Bible verse about courage for you. It's found in Joshua 1.9. It says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Now, I know sometimes I get really nervous and scared, and I know when I read this verse that God's telling me that I need to be strong and courageous, but sometimes I just don't feel very strong and courageous. Now, when I'm looking at this chapter, I noticed a few verses before this, God's talking to Joshua, and Joshua's leader before him, Moses, has just died. And Joshua's the new leader, and he's really scared. But in verse 5, God tells Joshua, I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will not fail you or abandon you. I want you to remember that today. If you're feeling scared or nervous about something, God says it right here. He's with us. He's not going to fail us. He's not going to abandon us. I want you to say Joshua 1.9 with me. Are you ready? Joshua 1.9 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I want you to remember that as you go through this week. God is with you, he won't abandon you, and he won't let you fail. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. hey Rip, 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 what what are you doing? I'm writing a letter to God. You're let me, can I see your letter? Yeah, sure, take a look. All right, it says, dear God. Yep. You're the worst. Yep. Why don't you care about me? That's right. Rip. What? Why are you writing this letter? Because God is the worst, man. Have you seen all the bad stuff going on? Well, uh, yeah, Rip, we've all kind of seen the news. We all know it's what's going on right now, but... But why are you wondering if God cares about you? Because <laughs> he doesn't, man. He doesn't care about all the sick people. He doesn't care about my dad losing his job, maybe. And he doesn't care about me. Rip, God cares about all of those things. Oh yeah? It doesn't yeah. seem like it. Why Why do you feel that way, Rip? Cause, well, all these bad things keep happening and God just doesn't care about them. He doesn't even care that my little brother erased my video game yesterday. Rip, Rip, I gotta... I spent three months working on that game. Rip, I know, I know those things are scary and they're sad and, and a lot of them are bad. Yeah. But God still cares about you. He does? Yeah. Why do you think that? Well, here's, here's what I know. In our Bible verse we've been learning, it was written for this guy named Joshua. Yeah. And he didn't know what was gonna happen or what really he was supposed to do, but God kept telling him this one thing over and over and over. What's that? That he would be with him. Was his video game erased? Well, he didn't have video games then, but, but the guy he had been following forever, he died. He died? Yeah, and Joshua was now in charge and God wanted him to make sure that he knew that he would always be with him. That's why Whoa. he told him so many times. God's with us even when bad things happen? Yes, God's with us when bad things happen, when good things happen. 
And you know what? Nothing surprises God. What? You mean God knew these bad things would happen? Yeah, he did. And that's why we've been learning this verse. He wanted to get us ready and so that we would have a promise to hold on to. Whoa, that's crazy, Pastor Leah. I know, I know it's kind of crazy and, and it's okay to be scared sometimes, but we have to remember that God is always with us yeah. and he'll take care of us. Could you pray with me so that, well, maybe I'm not mad and maybe I can trust God a little more? Absolutely, Rip, let's pray. Dear God, I thank you for your promise. God, I thank you that nothing surprises you and that you are still in control. Mm -hmm. Help us to remember that you care about us. We love you, amen. Amen. You know what? What? I think I'm gonna go write God a different letter now. Rip, I think that's great. Do you think maybe I could help you write that letter? I would love that. All right, let's go get a new piece of paper then. Okay, let's go. I love God's word so much because it applies to us still even to this day. In 1 Kings chapter 17, we have an incredible story. You see, there once was this mom and a young boy. Her husband had passed away and she and her son had fallen on some really hard times. They only had a tiny little bit of dough left and just a tiny little bit of oil. Their plan was to go and to collect some sticks, make a fire and eat their last meal and then die. Well, right as they were going out to find some sticks, the prophet of the Lord, a guy by the name of Elijah shows up and Elijah finds this mom and he says, hey, do you guys have anything for me to eat? And this mom, she looks at the prophet and she says, I, I'm sorry, I wish I did. You see, all I have is this last little meal. Literally, my son and I are, we're finding sticks so that we can cook our last meal and then die. Well, Elijah looks at this mom and says, do you mind sharing your food with me? Think about that. This is literally their last meal. And Elijah asks if they'd be willing to share. But this mom, she has faith, she has courage that God is going to show up and do the right thing. And so she looks at Elijah the prophet. She says, okay, we'll share our food with you. And so she goes, she takes the last little bit of flour and the last little bit of oil, and she makes this small little roll for the prophet. He eats it, and then he tells her to go and to check her flour and to check her oil again. She's like, what are you talking about? Check it again, I, I just used the last little bit for you. But, but she obeys and goes over to the pantry, pulls it out, there's some more oil in there. <laughs> There's more flour, where'd this come from? So she goes and she's able to make another roll for her son and herself. The next day, she goes and she looks inside and there's more. Day after day after day, God kept providing for his people. We can always trust that God's gonna show up. God cares about our needs. He knows exactly what we want, God cares about our needs. He knows the things that we need in order to survive. And while you might be scared about things right now, you can remember this, God cares for you. God sees us, He knows you by name, and He cares for your needs. So a few years ago, I had to have my tonsils out. And I'll be honest, I was pretty scared. See, the doctor had told me how much it was going to hurt and how long it was going to take until I would feel better. But somebody took care of me. You see, my mom, she is awesome. So the day I came home from the hospital, she made sure to have my favorite ice cream, Rainbow Sherbet, in the freezer. There was popsicles, she had jello, she had pudding. In fact, every day that I was homesick, she went to Sonic and got me a slushie. And as I would drink that, everything just started to feel better. She even measured out my medicine. And yes, I'm a grown up, but my mom loved me so much that she took care of me every day until I was better. And as much as my mom loves and cares for me, God loves and cares for me even more. In fact, God loves and cares for you even more than you even know, more than you could even imagine. God loves you so much and he's always caring for you. Today in our Bible story, we learned all about how God cared for a woman and her son. 
They didn't know what was going to happen, but they knew who to trust. You may not know what's going to happen either, but you can always trust God. You know why you can always trust God? Because He loves you. And if you'll take time and listen to Him, He'll tell you all about His love. And if you read your Bible, it's filled with stories of God's love for you. But here's what I want you to do right now. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to ask God this question, not with your mouth, but with your heart. Ask God this, what do you love about me? And maybe God's telling you that He loves the way you laugh and the joy that you bring and can fill a room. Maybe God's telling you that He loves that you're so compassionate and that you love to snuggle up next to your mom and dad at night you just kind of bring peace into the room when you do that. Or maybe God's reminding you that He loves you and He would do anything for you and that He's always with you. Now let's take a moment and thank God for His love for us. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you for loving us. I thank you that you love us not because we deserve it, but just simply because you do. God, help us to remember that you love us and that you will always take care of us and that you're always with us. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Wow, God really cared about that Elijah guy. And if he cares about him, then he must care about me. And if he cares about me, then he cares about you. And not just about you, about your families, our health, jobs, even birthdays. God cares about the big things and the little things. And you know what? That's what having courage is. It's trusting God even when you're afraid. And I was afraid that I was going to have a bad birthday. And maybe my friends can't come over. Maybe I'll just be by myself. But I'm still going to have a great birthday no matter what. Thank you, God, so much for loving me and for being there, no matter what. Bye, guys.